Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to set up the Angular 2 router and we're going to be able to navigate between the home component and the about component. Alright, so first thing we're going to do is go to our main.ts bootstrap file. And I don't mean Twitter bootstrap, I mean the actual Angular 2 bootstrap. And we need to import the router providers. Okay, so we're going to say import router underscore providers and that's going to be from at angular uh, slash router okay so that'll bring in the providers and then what we need to do is add the router providers as a second parameter to the bootstrap function so right here we'll say router underscore providers okay and that should be it for this file so we can close that and then let's go to our app component ts file and first of all let's import the router directives and say import router underscore directives we're also going to import routes and router okay and these are all going to come from the angular 2 router so we want to do at angular slash router all right and then let's go down here and we want to add to this directives array the router directives now the way we want to do this is we're going to have the nav bar and the jumbotron stay where they are and be on every page so whether we're on home or about or any page these components will still show okay now for the area where we actually want uh, the dynamic div or dynamic uh, element let's first wrap it in a class called container and that's just to push everything towards the middle and we want to put in here router dash outlet okay just like that and the rest let's see okay so what we want to do is set our routes up so we want to go under the component decorator and we're going to have a routes decorator Okay, so in here we want to open up some brackets. Okay, first route, we're going to define the path. Okay, the path is just going to be slash, which is the home page. And then for a second parameter, we're going to say component. And we want this to be the home component. Okay, next one is going to be path. It's going to have a path of slash about. And then we want to define component as about component. Just clean that up a little bit. And then the last thing we need to do in this file is create a constructor in our class. And this is how we do dependency injection in Angular 2. We want to go inside and say uh, private router router okay just like that so we can save that now if we look in our console here it's telling us that there's no base href set so what we need to do is go into our index page and we're gonna go right under the end head tag and we're just gonna put in a base tag and we're gonna say href this is, this is going to be our base URL, which is just going to be slash. Okay, so let's put that in and save it. You can see the error is now gone. All right, now what we need to do is add our navigation menu so that we can actually switch between the routes. All right, uh, and we can go ahead and test the route. So if we go slash about, um, let's see, did we put anything in the about component? Don't think we did. 
okay about component HTML and let's just put in about and save and you can see we're, we're on the about page okay and then for home let's go to the home HTML and just say home and now if we go to just localhost 3000 you can see we're getting the home page so our routes are working now we just need to create the links so we'll go to our nav, uh, nav bar component go to uh, let's see nav bar HTML and we want to go right in here and let's put in a UL give it a class of nav nav bar nav these are just bootstrap classes okay and then in here let's do li actually we don't need an href what we need to do is say router link and let's set that okay we're going to say router link and we want to put in some brackets right here single quote and just slash okay so that'll be for home and then let's go ahead and copy that this one here is going to go to slash about change that to about alright so let's save it okay now we're getting an error because it doesn't know what this router link is so we need to go to our navbar ts file our component file and just do some importing okay so we're gonna say import uh, router directives routes and router okay and then we're gonna add it as a directive okay and let's save that okay and now you can see we're on the home page if I click this about link and now it takes us to about okay so we can switch back and forth so that's how the router works. We can just add a little bit of content to home HTML. Uh, let's put an H2. We'll give it a class of page heading. And we'll just get some dummy content real quick okay and then we'll just copy that save it go to our about page change that to about and we'll just switch the paragraphs around here all right so let's go back that's not it and now we have our home page and then we have our about page and I just want to fix this right here we have the URL as the button text in the jumbotron so let's go to our jumbotron HTML and right here we just want that to be text there we go okay so that brings us to the end of our intro application um, obviously this doesn't do very much it wouldn't be something you'd create for production but I think that we covered a lot of the different concepts of angular 2 that you'll need to know in order to move on to the rest of the projects okay so hopefully you enjoyed it and I'll see you in the next project